Troponin T card test. Troponin T or TNT is a component of the contractile apparatus of the striated musculature. There are two types of troponin T. Cardiac troponin T, which originates exclusively from the myocardium, and skeletal muscle troponin T, originating from skeletal muscles. Cardiac troponin T is highly specific to the myocardium and a sensitive marker for myocardial damage. In cases of acute myocardial infarction, troponin T levels in serum rise about 3 to 4 hours after the occurrence of cardiac symptoms and can remain elevated for up to 14 days. Troponin T is an independent prognostic marker which can predict the near, mid and even long-term outcome of patients with acute coronary syndrome. Principle The troponin T rapid test is an immunochromatography assay for measurement of cardiac troponin T in whole blood, serum and plasma. When a sample is applied into the sample well, the cardiac markers present in the sample bind to the specific antibodies impregnated onto the membrane. If the concentration of this marker in the sample is above the cutoff level, red bands appear at the corresponding test lines and the control line. If the concentration of the marker in the sample is lower than the cutoff level, only the colored control line can be seen in the test window. This colored control band must always appear at the control line position for valid test results. A test result is not valid if the colored control line does not appear in the test window. Sample collection and preparation. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for choosing the right sample for the test. In this demonstration, we will be using EDTA whole blood venous sample. The samples should be collected under standard laboratory conditions. Optimal results are obtained when samples are tested immediately after collection. If serum samples are used, collect the blood in a tube without anticoagulant and allow clotting. Plasma or serum samples may be refrigerated for 24 hours at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Refrigerated or frozen serum or plasma specimen should reach room temperature and be homogeneous prior to testing. Whole blood or plasma samples using heparin as the anticoagulant can also be used. Whole blood samples should be used within 4 hours or as per manufacturer's instructions after collection. Variation may exist between manufacturers and at times from lot to lot so it is important to read manufacturer's instructions carefully before performing the test. Materials required for the test Test device containing membrane strip in a sealed pouch with desiccant, labels and numbered cover strips. Disposable dropper to deliver required amount of blood may or may not be provided with the kit. If not provided, then use pipet with disposable tips. Timer EDTA Venus Whole Blood Sample Method Follow all standard precautions while performing the test. Collect blood samples as described in the section of phlebotomy. Remove the test device and sample from the refrigerator and bring them to room temperature prior to testing. Remove the test device from the sealed pouch immediately before use. Label the device with sample identification number. Mix the sample by inverting the vacutainer a few times. Using the disposable syringe, aspirate the sample up to the arrow mark. Inject the total volume aspirated onto the application area. Using sample transfer dropper, deliver sample into the sample well. As an infection precaution, Gently peel off the label and attach it to the documentation log or register. Cover the application area with a numbered cover strip provided with the kit. Read the result at 15 minutes or manufacturer recommended time and record it on the label. Results and Interpretation 
The results of troponin T rapid test are determined by the naked eye. A single red colored line at the control area C without a line at the test area is a valid negative result and indicates the concentrations of cardiac troponin T in the sample is below the cutoff level. Appearance of a red colored line at the control area C and appearance of red colored line at the test line indicate the concentrations of cardiac troponin T in the sample is at or above the cutoff level. The intensity of red color in the test line may be weaker or stronger than that in the control line. If no colored line appears in the control area in 15 minutes, the test result is invalid. The test result is inconclusive and the assay should be repeated. Note. Very faint T line indicates that cardiac troponin T in the specimen is near the cutoff level. The samples should be retested or test results should be confirmed by other quantitative assay. Biphasic indication troponin T and troponin I. It is important to do troponin I concurrently with troponin T. Troponin I has monophasic increase. Troponin T has biphasic increase. Troponin will remain high for more than two weeks in myocardial infarction, where troponin I will come down in five to seven days. So, troponin I is a better prognostic indicator. Storage of the kit The test kit should be stored at manufacturer recommended temperature in the original sealed pouch for the duration of shelf life. The test kit should be kept away from direct sunlight, moisture and heat. Perform the test immediately after removing the test cassette from the foil pouch. Do not use it beyond the expiration date. Precautions that need to be taken. Handle all specimens as potentially infectious. Proper handling and disposal methods should be established. To avoid cross-contamination, use a fresh transfer device for each sample tested. Do not use test kit if the pouch is damaged or improperly sealed.